What's up, Comic Frontline? It's Mr. J here. What's up, all my fellow Whovians? It's time to jump back into the TARDIS once again. I apologize for missing the last uh, couple episodes. I've been busy the past few Saturdays with, you know, school and stuff. It happens. But I am back once again for another Doctor Who Series 9 episode review. And this week we are going to be talking about The Girl Who Died, featuring a very special guest who I uh, adore because... I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. Um, Maisie Williams is in this episode. So, this episode features the Doctor and Clara after the whole fiasco with the, like, those ghost alien things. I don't, I don't remember what they were actually called. But uh, after that, they go and uh, they travel to Viking times. And uh, these Vikings are uh, being attacked. Basically, uh, they're, um, you know... In the beginning of the episode, the Doctor, he tries to, you know, interact with the Vikings and by posing as Odin. And then, like, later on, they see, um, you know, there's a projection of Odin in the sky. And um, he basically says, you know, he's going to take their warriors to Valhalla. And uh, later, um, you know, Clara decides, you know, I'm going to find out what the hell's up with this. Because obviously that's not the real Odin, that's just an alien posing as Odin. So... Clara and Maisie, um, I mean, Clara and Ashilda, Maisie's character, uh, Clara and Ashilda are, uh, uh, get themselves transported to Valhalla, and it turns out to be, you know, this alien's, like, spaceship or fortress or whatever, and basically what the guy who's posing as Odin is doing is he's killing off these Viking warriors and extracting their testosterone, uh, basically to make steroids. Uh, obviously he does not know what testosterone really does to you because you don't you don't want to mess with that stuff um, I mean you, uh, I mean the stuff is already naturally produced in your body why would you intentionally ingest it unless you are uh, you know imbalanced by some kind of condition or whatever but that's just psychologist mode talking here anyway um, back to the episode so basically, you know, Clara is trying to convince them, you know, you know, you can just let us go and you can leave. You got what you wanted, now go, go, go. We can, like, there's no need to, you know, let this escalate. And Clara's actually doing a really good job. But then, you know, um, Ashilda, she's like, no, fuck that shit. I'm a Viking. We can fuck you guys up. You shouldn't, you know, don't, don't underestimate us and all this stuff. You know, Arya, I, I keep calling her Arya, Ashilda is, uh, you know, she's showing her warrior spirit and stuff, and so the, the, uh, the fake Odin dude is like, alright, okay, I'm, who am I to say no to a war? I mean, that's what our race is about. And we find out that, uh, you know, their, uh, alien race is going to, uh, basically wipe out the village. And the doctor is just like, you know, we can go. I mean, it's one village. Uh, this existed a hundred, hundreds of years ago. If I interfere here and have the single tiny Earth village defeat, you know, I believe their race is called like the Mayan or something like that. If I have one single Earth village help one single Earth village defeat them, that would just paint a huge target on Earth. And, uh, you know, they would be strategically targeted for more alien attacks and millions of millions of more people would die. And, of course, the mine would just come right back. Uh... So I think it'd be safer if we just let them all get, um, if we just let nature take its course in a way. And Clara's like, no, we can't let that happen. And uh, something really, I, I thought that was really cool in this episode was the use of baby translation. Like apparently the doctor speaks baby. I thought that was cool. Um, and uh, how he actually kind of uses what the baby is saying to figure out a way to defeat uh, the, the Mayan, you know, the, f the false Odin and his people. And what he does is really interesting. It incorporates, you know, Arya's, you know, Arya's characters, uh, Ashilda, her ability to, you know, to make puppets and things. And she, they basically um, mess with the uh, fake Odin and they use special effects to, you know, help to defeat his army and also scare the shit out of him. And Clara and the doctor, uh, like, recorded on um, video, and they basically blackmailed him. They're like, alright, so you could either 
leave them alone and just get out, get the hell out of here. Or basically, basically what he threatens, like paraphrasing, I could just upload this video of you being scared shitless by these, you know, primitive humans on intergalactic YouTube and we can ruin your reputation, you know, make your move. So yeah, um, that was cool. So the day is saved. However, like, uh, like hooking um, a shield up to the alien technology, you know, um, of course is uh, messed with her, um, you know, physically. And you know, again, as always with my reviews, there are going to be spoilers. Um, a shield uh, does well. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Before I go any further. Anyway, okay, spoiler, a shielda does die, however, however, this is not the last we'll see of Maisie Williams' uh, character, a shielda, because, well, first of all, it's a two-parter, and second, the doctor actually finds, like, a medical packet, uh, he kind of re-engineers, um, reverse-engineers a medical packet, um, created by those warrior people, and... He gives it to Ashilda, making her pr uh, pretty much immortal, effectively immortal. And uh, he gives her a second one just in case, you know, there's just some um, that he, she finds somebody that she just can't bear to lose. And I thought that was really nice. It was really kind of symbolic of the doctor. And like, I like how he uh, comes to the realization. He's like, no, I don't just, you know, run. I'm, I mean, yes, I'm tired of losing people, but I can't run away from our problems, and I thought that was a cool realization, that nice development for 12. Capaldi, nice job. I thought it was cool seeing how he remembers the origin of him, like why he chose this face and how he got this face, and um, and then, so that was cool. Also, I like that he's getting back on track with his mission, that he really, he, it doesn't matter like, you know, what the situation is, he can do anything. What he's meant to do, like throughout the universe, throughout time, space, dimensions, whatever, he's here to save people, and that's just that's what the doctor does. I thought that was a, a nice message, and it was cool. It was a very solid episode. I really enjoyed it. Nice action. Again, good development for uh, the doctor and Clara. Clara was actually, uh, you know, doing her thing, being smart, and she wasn't just getting in the way. Awesome, great job to Jenna Coleman. Great job, Maisie. Great job to Macy Williams. Awesome. I really hope that maybe, maybe someday you could possibly play Kitty Pride because that was, that's who I would definitely cast you as. Um, that's off topic, but yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. And part two, it looks like we'll see a Shielda in the Wild West. It seems like. It looked like the Wild West, I think, or it, could, um, it might just have been, uh, you know, later on. I, it, she looked like she was in, like, bandit clothes, so that was cool. Can't wait to see that. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode in the comments below, as always. Don't forget to like this video. Let me know you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Comic Frontline if you haven't already. And don't forget, uh, if you see my, if you go to Comic Frontline's YouTube page, you can uh, find my channel on the side there with the list of all the members' channels. You can subscribe to my channel uh, over there. I'd really appreciate it. You know, basically, I do the same thing over there that I do over here. You know, just uh, I spread the content out. And, uh, yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you go check out my channel as well. Don't forget to follow Comic Frontline on Twitter and Facebook. And don't forget to download Frontline Live on iTunes. Uh, anyway, this has been Mr. J for Comic Frontline. And until next time, travel safe in this time, uh, wibbly wobbly timey-wimey world. Peace, guys. I'll catch you next Saturday.